Hi everybody, I'm Philip Goodman. My name is Chris Concha. And we are from the Nevada Real Estate Group at Keller Williams Group One Inc. in Reno, Nevada. Today we are gonna take a look back at the January 2019 real estate activity in Northwest Reno. So if you're new uh, looking at our videos, please hit the subscribe button because we come out with new content every single month. So Chris, let's dive inside. Let's look at the MLS maps and take a look at Market Insights. Perfect. First thing we wanna do is show you the three areas that encompass Northwest Reno and why they're so different. First, you've got 120, Old Northwest nearest the university, Northwest Suburban in the middle, and Somerset and Del Webb make up Northwest Reno over here. Now, Chris, what are the distinguishing characteristics between the types of homes and the types of buyers and sellers for these three areas? So in Old Northwest, which is right west of the university, you have houses built in the 50s, 60s, and even the 70s. And those are typically first time home buyers as well as second and third. You have your investors and you have your university students wanting to buy closer to the university. Um, as you head west to northwest suburbs, you get, this is a little bit more of, you know, the blue collar. You get your first, second, third time home buyers. But this is encompassing a little bit of the mix between Old Northwest and also the university. Because as you head over to the west, such as Somerset, you're getting bigger lots of property, you're getting bigger houses, you're getting more expensive houses. And as you head over to the west even farther, there's in Somerset, there's a subdivision called Del Webb, and that's a 55 plus community. Here we are inside Market Insights, looking at just the 120 and 121 pocket. Again, the, uh, the northwest Reno area of Somerset and Del Webb kind of skewed some of these numbers, so we wanted to match things up a little bit better. So, Chris, what did we see in January of 2019? In January 2019, we saw units sold were nearly identical to December 2018, only down a couple units from the prior year. Median sold price is only down a couple thousand from the previous year, but up very little from the previous month. Even with the slight change in the median price, the percent of asked received is steady at 98.2%. New listings are down 20% from December, leaving only 70 units in current inventory, which is a whopping 90% more than last year. The short supply could be caused because there's always high demand for housing near the university. The higher prices in the Somerset area are driving buyers into Northwest suburban area. Here we are on our website, crenohomesforsale.com, and our featured property of the month is 1980 Morning Grove Court in Reno. And Chris, this is your listing, so you know quite a bit about this. I do, and so it's a three bedroom, two bath, 2355 square feet. Uh, it is a, on a third of an acre property, and it was built in 2004 and the price is 617,000. Technically, this is a three car garage, but it has been converted, uh, the third car garage, into a kid's playroom. So is this the garage door wall? Correct. Does that door, so that door doesn't open then? All it is is, is just cosmetic, and that could get replaced, and mm. taken out. Got it, but um, does this connect to the rest of the house? It does, so if you go through the last photo, this is the kids, one of the kids' room, and it's that door. And kudos to the artist who recreated Maurice, Maurice Sendak's Where the Wild Things Are. That is an incredible, incredible wall mural. Is the bar included? Does it come with the, the wine fridge and the glasses? You know, the bar is not included, Duh. but everything is negotiable. And another great tribute to children's authors. I recognize this tree from Shel Silverstein's The Giving Tree. It is. Excellent parenting, whoever lived here. And Chris, this backyard, even with the leftover snow, is just, it's immaculate. It's a third of an acre. Um, hot tub is included. You ever see the Peavine Mountains? And what you can't see with the photo is actually right behind the house is uh, the Somerset Par 3 golf course. Well, for more listings from the Nevada Real Estate Group, click the link you see now in the upper right corner. 
Well, there's your look back at the January 2019 market activity for Old Northwest and Northwest Reno. If you have any questions about the numbers we've discussed, you can reach Chris Concha at the information you see in the YouTube description below or post a comment right here on this YouTube page. For Chris Concha and the Nevada Real Estate Group at Keller Williams Group 1 Inc. in Reno, Nevada, I'm Philip Goodman. We'll see you next time.